if x equal to c is a point in the interval from minus infinity to infinity and both the improper integral from minus infinity to c or fx dx and improper integral from c to infinity fx dx converge then we say that the improper integral from minus infinity to plus infinity fx dx also converge and the value of this improper integral is equal to the sum of these two smaller improper integral. Now if any of the improper integral say minus infinity to c of x dx or integration for c to infinity of x dx diverge, if any one of them diverge, then this improper integral from minus infinity to infinity will diverge. Let's look at an example. Example 4. We are going to evaluate from minus infinity to infinity of 1 over 1 plus x squared. Now in this case, we take a point C equal to 0. So we break this integral into two, part, two pieces. First piece is from minus infinity to 0. So in this case, just like the usual integral now, usual improper integral now, what we do is replace the minus infinity by L. And then you integrate the function 1 over 1 by x squared. Afterward, you let L go to minus infinity. Now integration of 1 over 1 by x squared, we know that it's tangent inverse x. You can check this from the formula book. And you take the limit from L to 0. So put x equal to 0 and x equal to L and we know that tangent inverse L is 0 so therefore this is minus tangent inverse L now as L goes to minus infinity tangent inverse of minus infinity is negative of minus pi over 2 because we know that tangent inverse or because we know that tangent of minus pi over 2 is going to be minus infinity so in the end the answer for this first improper integral is pi over 2. The first part of this improper integral from minus infinity right, of dx 1 over plus x squared 1 over 1 plus x squared in this case is pi over 2. So this is the first part of the improper integral. How about the second part from 0 to infinity? Now let's investigate here. The integral from 0 to infinity is replace the infinity by L and let L go to infinity. So when you integrate 1 over 1 by x squared, as usual, you get tangent inverse x. And then you put in the limit from 0 to L. This will give you pi over 2. Now you add up these two improper integrals, you'll get the important integral from minus infinity to infinity is the sum of integral from minus infinity to zero and integration from zero to infinity. Both of them are pi over two, so end up the limit is pi. And so we say the important integral converge to pi.